What's up guys, I'm back with another video, and I'm sorry for this very huge delay in explaining on how to root BlueStacks. Well, BlueStacks has decided to add a whole bunch of different countermeasures just so that I can't even root their software. So what we decided to do is that we, I decided to wait till the developer of BlueStacks decided to update his, his BlueStacks root. Now what we're going to be using is BlueStacks Easy for Windows. BlueStacks Easy for Windows is easy to download. Go in the description bar and you can download it along with the 3.2 update only. But you have to extract the 3.0 in order to get the 3.2 update. Which the 3.2 update is should be just the .exe file itself. It's already confirmed as not as a virus because it's been developed by a trusted developer so it's not considered to be a virus or in any way a virus so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up bluestacks easy I'm not using an actual keyboard and mouse to do this but we're gonna be using bluestacks easy for Windows 3.2 so what we do is that we're gonna come on ahead and confirm that it's bluestacks 0.9.27.5408 now what you need to do in order to actually root it you need to you can go ahead and go to root easy which is the section under here to go to auto detect from from installed bluestack so we can automatically find the root f dot fs file which is what we're going to edit to go ahead and give you root access we're going to go ahead and click signature because of the fact that the actual there's added protection into bluestack so that you can't root it we're going to go to rooting we're going to root method 3 or root method 2 i believe yes root method 2 because if we don't use root method 2 then it's not going to work right um looking in notes down here if you don't know where the notes are at in case the root failed it'll probably tell you what the problem was with the reason why it didn't work down in this section right here so that they'll probably it'll probably tell you what to do but we're going to use method one method two signature and now we're basically ready we can proceed with the root just leave your leave your um main focus on this window your um it'll automatically switch over to a different window in a second it's going to be black but don't worry that's normal because that is a separate operating system that's going to be on our separate bios i believe it's a separate operating system that's going to um proceed with um unpacking the files because you have you can't do that through windows you have to do it through linux which is a very smart idea so just give it a second to go ahead and boot up the uh operating system Okay, so obviously it's um it looks like a custom it looks like a console or a custom OS. I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it's um very fancy. So it looks like it's almost done. Okay, so the process has failed. This is actually really good so that we can now figure out what it did. This tax is system is unsquashed system. Please check unsquashed system. So that now let's proceed again and try again to root it. It should go a lot faster since we've loaded it before and it should be cached in. Okay. Okay, so it seems like it looks like that the process is act it actually was successful. So rooting BlueStacks was successful. So now we're gonna go ahead and increasing the file system and the SD card of BlueStacks. So what we basically do is go to 32, and then choose 32 on this one too. Create. Give it a second. All right. Create that one. Give it a second. Okay. Now we can go ahead and uh, ignore that now. Basically, if you want to increase the amount of RAM that BlueStacks is allowed to use, you can go ahead and do that by entering here. Change memory. Close out of BlueStacks. We're going to need to have BlueStacks closed for a minute in order to um, edit the amount of storage it can have. So we go to Downloads. Go to where your BlueStacks Easy in the Output folder is. We're going to cut. We're going to cut this and move it all the way over to Program Data BlueStacks. Android. Paste it here. 
replace these files in the destination reload it again it might take a little bit because you basically reset bluestacks or reset certain parts of bluestacks so it might not work as fast as after you just reset it you should have you probably should have done that first before rooting it but it should be fine so it should be almost done now just give it a couple more seconds sometimes it doesn't always load fast for everybody so just give it a couple more seconds for it to load Okay, so it's downloading now. Um, you should choose tree 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 butch, I believe is how you say it. I don't know how to say it, but um, that is what we need to choose as our home app. Click always, click OK, and then OK again. I'm using my touch screen, so that's why you don't see my mouse pointer anymore. Um, now, as you can see, this is this is the super user that actually works for all processors since. I don't know if you have AMD or Intel, but this one works for both of them. We're going to go ahead and check now, forever, and allow, and it's successfully rooted. This is how you root BlueStacks 0 .0 0 0.9.27.5408. Hopefully this video was very useful. This is Top Tech Guides, and I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.